shoot. Right, well, um, first things first is I want to actually try and torpedo some of them. Um, what earth is going on there? It's a bit unfortunate that one isn't going slower. Right, so there's going to be one coming in front of me right here. So is that guy, or is it that guy? Okay, it's this guy. It's the European in front of me. Okay, get rid of that. No, I want to go to the next merchants thing. Go away. I want a medium European composite freighter. Medium European. There we go. Right. I think that range is there. Angle is pretty much 90 degrees. Uh, speed is medium, so 9. Lock. Forward tube, number 6. That's pretty good. Contact. Yeah, very slightly in front of where, it, where I uh, have been marked in as. And that looks good. Probably a bit too far forward, but still good. I oh, know, actually that worked out pretty well. Yep, that in fact worked out very well, to be honest. That uh, small modern behind it is going to uh, overtake, I think. Is this tube open? No, it wasn't. Okay, that's another contact torpedo. I'm going to put it a little bit further behind, and I'll fire it there. Oh, no, that was a horrible, horrible, horrible miss, because he slowed right down. Uh, is there anything over there it will hit? It could possibly hit this one, if I'm very lucky, but that's not very likely. Um, I'm tempted just to put one, like, right there. Is this open? No. Right. Well, range there, angle there, speed seven, yeah, possibly. Right. Oh, bloody hell, I've got that angle wrong. Uh, it's more like that. Probably even more, yeah, more so than that. Let's put that right then. That'll do. Let's take the spread off, and in fact, I'll put the spread behind it a bit and fire there. Let's see what that does for me. Oh, not a great deal because it missed. Oh well. Where'd the other torpedo go? Did it miss? Yeah, it missed. It's all the way over there. And that's probably not going to hit much either. Okay, I think I may be out of forward torpedoes. I am. Okay. Um, right, well we've got no damage anyway. Right, so I think what we're going to do we're just going to check the uh, tactical again. I wonder if I'm lucky enough that it will hit that guy on the outside. No, that's going to miss everything. Okay, well, um, they're now all in front of me. So, what I want to do... Yeah, everyone, all of them are now in front of me. What I want to do is wait until they are that far away, so when these guys are that far away I will surface and that is a fairly safe range to shoot them from, that's close enough now then, let's go left and two thirds ahead get up to the surface, which we now are, we're under attack but we're at a fairly safe range, now then, speed up a bit because I, oh damn it, they've hit us Son of a bitch! I was not expecting them to hit us. Right. Okay. Battle stations. How much damage did we take? Nine. The cannons damage and the bow batteries are damaged. That's not all that bad, really. Uh, put on that and bombard. And we want to straighten now, because that'll be good enough. I need a range. Somewhere around 3500, but... Uh, right, 3200. Now, where is the closest one in front of me? I'm guessing it's that one. Alright, 3200, I want high explosive. Have I got bombard on? Yes, I do. Fire. 
Yep, that's hitting him, so that's good. We will continue with this. And this guy shouldn't take too many, because he's the guy I've already hit with a, uh, with a torpedo. So really, he should be going down fairly soon. And I'm consistently hitting him, which is good. There we go, now he's dead. Right, next one. Next one is the one right in front of him. And that is a range of 3700. So that guy right there. I want to put it up to 3700 and start shooting at him. Uh, right there. Did that hit him or not? No, it didn't. What did it? No, I don't think it did. Let's go a bit further. I think it fell slightly short. Yep, it definitely fell short. Let's put it up to 4,000. I think I actually missed with that. No, I did hit. Hit with that one. Missed with that. This is a bit hit and miss, isn't it? Oh, that was bad. Right, um, how far away actually is he? Am I shooting at that one? I think I am. I'm thinking I'm shooting at that one over there when I should be. Yeah, I am. I should be shooting at... Oh, that one. Yeah, that one's 37. Right, fire there. And that should hit this one. Nope. 35 then. No. What on earth am I doing? It's definitely that one I'm shooting at. And range is now 33. That'd be why. Let's try 3000 on it then. So it's clearly coming towards me. So let's try 3000 or just over 3000. better. It's a bit low actually, but uh, it's coming closer, so it should improve. I'm not sure what that ship actually is. I think it's a, a medium composite. But again, not sure. I'll just look afterwards. Really not too bothered about what they are for uh, deck gun shooting. Since I don't need to work out any trajectories, I just need to work out the range. Here we go, that's another one destroyed. Then the one to the right of that, 3400. In fact, it should be less than that. I'm going to go 3350 and try there. Yep, that did it. So let's unload a few shells into that one. I'm not sure we're hitting it. There we are. We're good. That, that's good. Round of attack. I think we may be overshooting now. I'm going to reduce the range. Yep, that's better. Are we overshooting again? Yep, put it down to 3000. Bombard is nearly done. He's got a big fire on board now. Enemy unit destroyed. Good. Let's try the same range on this one. Oh yeah, just about, just about hit him with that one. This guy's got two guns on board and they're both deck guns. I'm pretty sure that hit him actually. Yeah, that is hitting him. Probably a little bit low. And Bombard has just worn off. But that's fine. We can make do. I think there's only two ships left in this convoy. 
this one and another one over to my left. I could be wrong, but I think that's all there is. That shot's going to be a bit close. That's missed. Right. Are we still overshooting? Nope, we're still fine. I think. That one overshot. So let's reduce the range. Because we are catching these guys up. Even though I'm only going at uh, two thirds of normal speed. Okay, so... Yep, this, this range is fine. So we should have uh, this guy sunk pretty shortly. I want to know what he is that he's got two, gu uh, two deck guns on him. It's not often you find a uh, merchant ship with two deck guns. Whatever he is, I think he's just about to explode. Let's hold fire. Yep, there we go. Enemy unit destroyed. And this is the last one. I'm not sure how far away that is. Oh no, it's not the last one. There's a whole bunch of them, actually. Hmm. Well, which one is he, is the question. Um. Right, well, there's none over there. There's one there. One there. One there. So there, there's three, isn't there? And there's one, like, right off in the distance. But he's going slow, so I can easily catch him. But this one, that's the one I'm looking at. He is 3,600 away. Okay, so this one, I want probably about 3,500, really. Right about there. Yep, there we go, that's good. And we are going to run out of uh, deck gun rounds, I'm sure. Or at least we'll run out of high explosive without question. We may run out of arm piercing as well, I don't know. But we have plenty of anti-aircraft gun shells, and that actually overshot there. That one didn't. I think someone else is shooting at us. Don't know who, but it's not this one over here. Pretty certain it isn't this guy anyway. And he's presenting a, uh, a difficult target now. But not too difficult. There we go. That's a good range as well. We're dropping uh, high explosive shells right on his deck. Which is fantastic. That's exactly where we want to put them. We're also going a bit faster than he is, so uh, our tracking is slightly off. But not too bad, he's just lost his mast. So hopefully the rest of the ship won't be too long before it follows. Yeah, my torpedoing in, uh, against those destroyers was absolutely horrible. Hopefully I won't repeat that, uh, that example. But hey, we got away with it, so... Well, just about. If that, uh, that first destroyer hadn't uh, hadn't just rammed me, then perhaps we wouldn't have gotten away with it. But we did, so uh, that's good enough for me. Now this guy really should be going down very shortly. I'm surprised he's not on fire yet. I mean, really surprised. He's taken a good 20 high explosive shells. He really should be on fire. If there's any justice, he should be on fire. Hmm. But then if there was any justice, he should he would already be dead. But uh, he isn't, so... Hmm. there. Would you please die? I know I'm hitting you. I know you don't want to die, but you don't have a choice in this. It's just a matter of you die now or later. And frankly, I don't think you should be prolonging your suffering. Right, we're out of high explosive rounds. So I don't know what it was just trying to reload, but uh... Yeah, alright, uh, 
Our piercing rounds are now loaded. And I think I'm going to have to change the range. Let's try putting one right there. That looks good. I don't know what this ship is, but it must be made of like adamantium or something. It just will not die. Seriously, dude, die. You put up a brave struggle, but it's alright to succumb from massive injuries, okay? No one will think worse of you. It's not possible to win to think worse of you. So, yeah, you can just give it up now. Really, please just give up. I've kind of had enough of shooting you, I want to shoot something different. Please die. That was a bad shot. I want to see what this thing is. Where is it? It's... That one? I think it's this one. Yeah, this one. Look at the state of it. It's got holes all over the front of it. Missing a mast, it's got massive holes there. I think it's even missing some of its bridge. Just die! Seriously! What was the range? I don't know, 30 something. Let's try 31. Yeah, that works. Oh, something exploded. You you can be vulnerable, can you? Is that even the same ship? I'm not convinced this is the same ship I'm shooting at now. In fact, it can't be the same ship because it's got a mast. Um, perhaps that's the other one then. Okay, well, whatever. I started shooting this one, so I'll finish. Enemy unit destroyed. Was that this one over here then um, yeah I guess it must be that one it must have exploded while I wasn't looking alright that's fine with me let's go back to this one then ok yeah, I'll, I'll just go and shoot a different ship thinking it's the same one I've been shooting at the whole time yeah clever that one ok that was probably a bad shot but never mind come on die already Where's the other one? Right, there's one there, and I think... Isn't there another one as well? It's like miles off in the distance somewhere. I don't know. We have to chase one down, I think. Whoa! Where the hell did that come from? Flooding and bulkhead damage, and... Damn! Who the hell shot me? I have no clue. But uh, that guy has got to die. How far away is he? It's got a good range on him. Yeah, so 3,000 uh, is a bit too far to be shooting for him. Right. Damn, phone calls. Ah, that's pretty good range, actually. So it's just hitting it in the waterline there, which is fantastic. That's where our piercing shells should go. Ah, it's this one that, was sh that shot me. Bastard did some damage. I don't appreciate that. Not one little bit. Nor do my viewers. Well, okay, my viewers do. They like seeing my submarine get shot to hell. They enjoy it. it makes them smile. Not me, though. I don't like it at all. I like bringing my ship home in one piece. That must have been really close. should still be hitting him below the waterline with these. Well, we're definitely still hitting him regardless. Well, he's got a fire on board now. Which is good. We like fires. 
Unit destroyed. Good, right. And that's the other one that's near to me-ish. Don't know where the other one is. I can't even see it anymore. But, uh, oops. No, this one. Oh, that is the one that's, uh, that's further away from me. Right, 3,000 on... Give me the deck gun. Not that one, but over here. Oh, this guy's actually shooting at me. Right, okay. 3,000 over this way. He's actually being quite accurate. Let's see where this shot goes. It's a bit high. Let's put it down a little bit. And you can stop shooting me if you please. In fact, that's still too high. Let's go lower. And probably still a bit too high as well. Yep, let's go lower. I want to hit him below the waterline or on the waterline. Yeah, like that. That's much better. Yeah, that's it. That's why I want to be him. Perfect. Of course, it would be nicer if he wasn't shooting back at me. And that shell's going to be very close. Perhaps not. <laughs> I misjudged that one. His shot, that is, not mine. Mine were fine. You should be putting lots of lovely holes right below the waterline on that side, which is lovely. Let's see if we can put some near the back. Oh, that's going to be close. Very close. Yeah, that was pretty close. Oh, he's actually a bit closer now. Let's uh, move down 2500. That one should overshoot, I think. Not by a lot, but a little. Oh no, maybe undershot. He's actually getting pretty close. So this is where I want him to die quite rapidly. Yeah, I heard the... Uh, the sound effect from that one, so it's getting way too close. Let's go lower. Oh, that's going to be so close. Right there. Way too close. This guy's gunner is actually quite good. Not good enough, but quite good. And he's dead. So good! Right there, now there's one left. And where is it? There it is, right in front of me. And I'm not even convinced that that one can shoot back at me. How far away is it? Um, let's see. 3,000. Well, if it could shoot at me, it would be. So I'm going to go catch it up. There we go. And let's get to the forward AA gun. Because this one still has high explosive shells in it. and should finish this one off fairly quickly. I'm also... Oh, I can't turn on Medic, it's already turned on. Alright, fair enough. I was going to say I'm also going to turn on Medic, but it's already on. So, uh, yeah, not going to turn on Medic. There's not a lot left of that ship now, whatever it was. Either way, it's dead. Is that now all of the ships from that convoy? Yes, it is. Good. Now then, let's see what kind of damage we took. Uh, 13 hull damage. Bow batteries, he just exploded. And snapped in half and lost his mast and sunk. Lovely. Anyway, 13 hull damage. Uh, the bow batteries are damaged. But we still have 95. Um, that should fix. Let's stand down from battle stations now. Uh, we have four aft torpedoes left, and that's it. Uh, we have some injured crew members, but they're not dead. They are just injured. Um, well, he's got 100 health, so he shouldn't be injured, but okay, fair enough. Uh, he's got 94, 97, so none of these guys are going to die. No, none of them are even close to dying, they're just a little bit injured, so that's fine, we're alright with that. Uh, the repair team should stay on though, because I want those bow batteries fixed. Now, um, get rid of that. 
and the range thing because we don't need that anymore now um, we have no torpedoes left so this would be a good time to start planning on uh, plotting a route home so we're going to go through here down here avoid those islands down to the south through Karamata Strait um, was there yes there was a destroyer there so we're going to go through not through the islands we're going to avoid the islands uh, through the Jawa Sea past where uh, Surabaya is we're going to come down through those shallows there through here back down south and then to Fremantle so that's what we're going to do like so and well, I don't want to go at flanks, we want to go two thirds what the hell am I looking at there? I have no idea right, so that's what we're going to do, we're going to follow our plotted course back to Fremantle and uh, go home, get our ship fixed and uh, yeah, then we'll be happy. Hopefully these bow batteries won't be uh, too badly damaged and we'll be able to uh, fix it up to 100% but uh, I think it may be stuck at 95 so I may have to turn off uh, where is it? This thing which is recharge batteries otherwise I may be trying to recharge a battery that can't actually be recharged and therefore wasting fuel so um, we'll see and uh, let's go off and do that. Well, update. Um, the batteries were not broken. What the hell is... Is that another hole there? Uh, oh, no, I've just left my tube doors open. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so, update. I left my back tube doors open, which was dumb. And, well, most of them actually. And we have two big holes in the side of the ship. Um, one right on the water line there and one right below the deck gun so yes um, that's the sum damage that we took from uh, from that assault um, I don't like having holes in my boat though and I definitely don't like leaving the doors open so I'm going to go close them now I've also left the scope up because I'm a complete idiot um, so yeah four torpedoes left all in the aft open doors <laughs> and a couple of big holes also this is a new paint scheme in the daylight which I don't think I've probably looked at yet so um, yeah I think it looks quite good actually I quite like it I just don't like that it killed one of my deck members that was annoying right it is November 25th 1944 we are well about a hundred miles from Fremantle and we got packed news free French troops liberate Strasbourg which is nice means that we are clearly on the way to winning the war we uh, don't have that much time left to get more tonnage actually to be honest and stop telling me about ships there I know there's going to be ships there I really don't care about them unless they're going to hit me I really don't care these are all friendlies okay good right this one I could run into no that's fine one behind him however no he's turning around to you that's fine anyway so yeah three French troops have liberated Strasbourg which is nice and we are nearly home um, we would be if it would just let me go into port please just let me go right off stop annoying me go into port into port go go close enough now aren't we seriously yeah okay refit stop because we're gonna hit something uh, why can't I go to extra whoa we nearly ran into that aircraft carrier okay we weren't gonna hit it but uh, damn that actually looks really cool yeah, American aircraft carrier. Don't know which one. But it is an American aircraft carrier. Very cool looking. Now what are those on board? Uh well, those look like Hellcats. Um I'm not sure what the big ones are. Very cool though. 
Yeah, I don't know what all those breaks in the deck are about either, but hey, never mind. What else is here? Uh, oh, we've got a battleship over here. At least it looks like a battleship. No, it can't be a battleship. It's too small. It must be a, a cruiser. Heavy cruiser, maybe. Oh, it's, it's English. No, it's not. That's not English. That's, um... Australian? No. Indian, maybe? I don't know. Let's have a look. Uh, I need to go... No, 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 I know what I'll do. I'll go here. Okay, I can't go there for some reason. Right then, let's go to the scope. I can't go to the scope either. Bizarre. Okay, fine. Oh, I didn't actually reload my torpedoes. I can't go to the torpedo room either. That's annoying. Okay, fine, we'll just end the patrol then. Whatever. So, we uh, patrolled the South China Sea. That's all we did. But we sunk 16 merchant ships and 3 warships for a grand total of 68,333 tons, which is not bad. It's not great either, but it's not bad. And we got our 25th congratulations honor? Is not 25th, uh, 15th. 25 would be insane. Uh, no, we got 15, that's our 15th Congressional Medal of Honor. Um, I don't know where I got 25 from, but okay, fair enough. I'll just add 10 to my score, yeah. So, November 27th, 1944, in Perth, Fremantle, Australia. Don't really need to read all that. I know where I am. I've been here for a while now. So, do we have any new upgrades? We've probably got some more guys here that I might uh, hire. No, no promotions, but bronze stars. Right, who's getting a bronze star this time? Uh... Let's go for Ford Torpedo Room, I think. Yes, Ford Torpedo Room. They can have Bronze Stars. Does that? No, it doesn't increase efficiency. Right, Silver Stars. I know I started somewhere. Where did I start? Ah, I started on the Deck Watch. Um, do I want to? Yeah, go on then. I'll give it to the Deck Watch. There we go, Deck Watch. So, we now have a renown of 72,000. 715. I'm never going to be able to spend that much renown. It's just not possible. Okay, um, we got everything we want there. JP Listening Gear we've already got, and with no other upgrades. And I've got to replace all sort of these Mark 14s with Mark 23s because it wouldn't let me go into the torpedo room and do it. So, um, yeah, that was a pretty good patrol. Um, what the hell? Why are you taking them out of there? Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. It's not uh, costing me any renown anymore, so I don't particularly care. The only thing I can really spend that would lower my renown would be these cutie torpedoes, and I just don't want them. So, um, admittedly they would have helped in that last mission, but, um, yeah, whatever. So, our current score is 1,645,690. And this guy, he's got up to 93,000. He must have had a really successful trip. In fact, his name isn't even familiar, so he could be um, a new rising star. A bit late for him, though. The only guy I actually no, I recognise those two guys, Morton and Bruton. Those are the only two I recognise. The rest of them, for all I know, could be brand new. Anyway, they're never going to catch me, so whatever. I've won. <laughs> I win! Uh, so, yeah, that was the, um, what was it, the 12th or the 13th? That was the 13th patrol of the USS Baleo. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and next time we will be sailing probably the first or somewhere, first week of December, I imagine, 1944. So, nearly into the, uh, into the last year of the war now. Well, we're well into the last actual year of the war, but, um, I mean the year as in calendar-wise of the war. So, um, yeah, come back next time for that. And uh, we will see the new year in on board our new boat. Well, it's not really new anymore, but you know what I mean.